everyone, uh, I'm Nadia Shireen and I'm delighted to join you as part of Cressida Cowell's Creativity Summer Camp. So, I'm going to do some drawing and I'd love it if you could draw along with me. I make picture books, one of them is the Bumble Bear. I thought about drawing Norman for you but then I decided, no, I wanted to draw Fat Cat, who is a character in my book Billy and the Dragon. He's also in Billy and the Beast. And he's Billy's best friend. Here we can see him dressed up as a dragon for a fancy dress party. He doesn't look very happy about it, does he? Um, but that's the funny thing about Fat Cat. He always has the same slightly annoyed expression, even on the happiest day of his life. If that was his birthday, that's how he would look. Anyway, drawing Fat Cat really cheers me up and makes me laugh. And he's also quite easy to draw, so I thought he'd be a good subject uh, for today's day at summer camp. I thought I could show you how I draw him. I mean, you can probably use, you can. I'm using coloured pencils, you can use pencil, pens, you can use paint if you like. It's really easy because all you have to do is draw a small orange triangle like so. Let's move that out of the way and then draw another small orange triangle over here. You can probably see we have some fat cat ears happening. Then I want you to imagine drawing a boiled egg which I know sounds weird but instead of a normal boiled egg make it kind of a messy furry boiled egg and draw it so that the bottoms of your triangles are touching the edge. Big, cosy, furry, boiled egg shape. I have never seen a furry boiled egg in real life. Sounds a bit wrong. Let's not dwell on it too much. When I was little, I used to sometimes get told off by boring teachers. I'm not saying all teachers are boring, it's just that my teacher was boring. Um, about being a very messy drawer. Oh, who's this? Who's this come to say hello? Elmo, come and say hello, I'm doing you how to draw. I'm drawing Fat Cat, would you like to? This is my cat, Elmo. He's come to see what I'm up to and get his muddy paws on my drawing. Please don't do that, Elmo, thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, teachers, grumpy teachers. Well, tell Nadi, you're very messy when you draw. Why do you do nice, neat lines? Uh, I ignored them. I like doing messy lines. I think it makes my drawings look more lively. Anyway, now you've got your furry egg, two triangles. I think I'm going to give him an arm. So I just do two lines like that. Then I imagine a really tiny bunch of grapes. It's so tiny there are only three grapes. So we go one, two, three. And we'll do the same over here. Two lines and then one, two, three. That's the way that I do pause. Probably not the cleverest way, but it works for me. Two lines here, one, two, three. Two lines here, one, two, three. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I'll um, color all the fat cat in today but I'll do some of it. By the way, your fat cat doesn't have to be orange. Uh-oh, here comes Elmo again. Elmo, what are you doing? Do you want to do some drawing? You can't see him, so I'm going to quickly move the camera so you can see him. Look, he's sitting on my books. Elmo, are you interrupting my how to draw? Yes, it's not very helpful of you. Sorry, everyone. Back to fat cat. Uh, yes, some people don't do orange fat cats. I, I know children who've drawn purple fat cats, yellow fat cats, blue fat cats. You can do any colour you like. You could do a rainbow fat cat if you wanted. Anyway, ca carry on colouring in to your heart's content. Let's colour his ears in. Um, 
the thing that I like the most about Fat Cat is that even when he's really happy, he looks really miserable. There's a trick to this. He has one massive eyebrow, a monobrow. That's what you call one big eyebrow. So draw Fat Cat's monobrow just to a big, thick black line, like a big caterpillar line across the top of his face. And then do two semicircles. I'm sure you know what semicircles are. Do one there. Do another one here. And then when you draw the black dots for his eyes, make sure that they're touching the black line, like so. That will keep him looking nice and grumpy. Oh, I've made a little error there. So let's fix that. Let's bring his eye down a bit more. Then you need to do another kind of boiled egg shape here. This one isn't a furry boiled egg, it's just a normal boiled egg. And then do a little nose at the top and then a line all the way down. My fat cat refuses to smile. If you want to make your fat cat smile, I really don't mind, but mine just has a line going all the way down. And then I think we should give him whiskers because what's a cat without whiskers? And in fact, that reminds me I always forget to give Fat Cat his tail, which is very important to him because tails are very important for balancing, aren't they? If you're any kind of cat. Fat Cat, by the way, his name, some people think I'm being rude calling him Fat Cat. He's not called Fat Cat for the reason you might think he's called Fat Cat. He's actually named after a famous jazz musician called Fats Domino. That's why he's called Fat Cat. Uh, he just happens to be big boned. That's just a coincidence. Um, now Fat Cat here, he needs something. Don't you think he needs something a bit extra? What he needs is a snack to keep him going because it's been a long day and he's not eaten for half an hour or so. And I think he needs something to keep him going. So I'm gonna give him, uh, what should I give him? I might give him a donut. Because he does love a donut, so I'm gonna draw a donut. You don't have to give him a donut. You could give him whatever you like. You could give him an apple. You could give him a sandwich, pizza, an ice cream. Some sushi if you're feeling sophisticated. Yeah, let's give him an iced bun with a cherry in the middle. Oh no, that's orange, that's no good. Let me sharpen my red. Oh dear, that's not working either. Fat cat. I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay, listen everyone, I'm going to give him a pink cherry. Not a red one, but you don't mind. You've seen what's happened with my red pencil fiasco. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, and then I'm just gonna carry on coloring him in. I'm not doing the neatest job in the world, but as you've, as I've already told you, I'm not the neatest drawer in the world. There are many other illustrators who you can copy who do neat and tidy drawing, but I'm afraid I am not that person. But I don't mind because look, look at what a furry bundle of joy Fat Cat is. He's looking very happy to be here. I would love to see your Fat Cats. So if any of you have had a go Please send them to me. A grown up, a grown up could maybe post them on social media for you. And maybe I'll get to see them that way. Look, I'm going to give him some stripes on his arms. And maybe put some darker bits of fur around the edge. There we have it. 
there is my pencil drawing of Fat Cat. Don't forget to sign your drawing in case you become an illustrator when you grow up. Then this can be in your Triplet Museum. Um, and thank you so much for watching everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to check out the Children's Laureate website where there are going to be loads of other awesome creative tips from other illustrators and writers and there's just all sorts of fun stuff going on. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone.